Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have our first guest with us in the studio. We're going to be looking into the world of film and video production. Now, joining us to do this is Aniete James, who is of Aniete Films. He's a director of Ajay Films, I beg your pardon, and he's a films and video producer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Welcome. Nice to have you. So when, when we hear film, I, I, I feel like this is your terrain, you know, the cameras, the lights. I feel like this should be your home. But usually we find that people who are into film and video production, who are behind the scenes, often get nervous in front of the cameras. Are you one of them? Do I look nervous? No, you don't. Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about you getting into film and video production. Some people would say that they started from YouTube. How did you start yours? Um, uh, it's a very tough question to really think about when I start going into film and I would say content production. It's been way back. Okay. It's How been long way back. exactly? It's about almost half or more than half of my life. Okay. I was like 12. 12 years. And the idea was always like a curiosity of what is going on on TV and always wanting to be in a place to create those content. How was it done? How was the cameras moving? I like the lighting, the locations. Curiosity started coming up. And over, over the years, I just always find myself tilting towards content, creativity, visual art, and all of those things. It just happened gradually. But I found myself in the CCU of my church. Um, I've shot my grandmother's burial. Okay. I've shot for my friends. I've done all kinds of things. And then eventually I had to do professionally, I had to go for professional um, training on this. And then came back to Lagos, started it to do it professionally. Okay. Yeah. So that means you studied, you have a degree in this? Yes. Oh, from where? Full Sail Academy. Oh, nice, nice. And so, um, basically, what does it entail when it comes to film production? Um, film production, I think everything starts with a story. There has to be a story to tell. And then when you have a story, it's now turned into a script, from a script into a screenplay. From a screenplay, you now have director's treatment. Mood board, storyboard. You now start putting your team together. Oh, who do I want to have a location? Location manager, wardrobe, styling, PFX, post production. Everything comes together okay. as long as there's a story. Let, let's look at what you know. What, what film and content creation was like in 2018 as um, as a as a boss in that area. You know, tell us what do you think the film and the content creation industry looked like in 2018, and what are the projections for 2019? Uh, 2019, in terms of content, film, TV, videos, was a bang in 2018. I think it was the most you would have in that era, because we have so many good movies coming up in 2018. We had King of Boys. Uh, we have so many other movies that came out. We also had amazing music videos. And uh, as far as commercials are concerned, we also had really good content from brands that are doing really well. And looking at the quality, of this material as compared to the past years. You, you constantly just see the difference, the upgrades, the quality in picture, quality in acting, and more skills coming out from directors. Directors that did a bit more better than the past. Okay. So 2018 was awesome. And I'm also seeing 2019 to be another level, which is going to be way, way better than 2018. Any I'll, new trends? Yeah, there are new trends. Because last year, I know that also with, with regards to content creation, we're seeing a lot of, you know, one-minute wedding videos that were going viral on social media. I don't think I've seen it as viral as I saw it last year. As You know, I don't think it's been that way in any other year. So there have been several new contents coming up. YouTube is becoming a thing. So um, are there any predictions for things that would be like the trailblazers in 2019? I think as far as content is concerned, 2019 is going to be a wave. If you notice that, if you notice something about creativity and content creation in Nigeria, that the up springs is so many new breeds of content creators and filmmakers. There's more interest now in creating content, writing, creative, visual art is becoming something of substance in Nigeria. People are now valuing quality. People want to keep their memories in the best possible forms. That's why you have young people are now making wedding films. You want your film to have your weddings or whatever event or gig you have to have the best appearance, the best quality, so you can share it to your fans or your family, your audience on social media. So that has also sparked some level of interest. 
um, and also it has created an opportunity for young people to also make a living doing these things. On the professional side of it, um, people like us are hoping to bag major projects in 2019 to spearhead major film productions, content, and all of that in 2019. And it's not just me. I see it happening with the rest of my colleagues. So I, I, I feel there's going to be a lot more surprise in 2019. Okay, so talking about filmmaking still, um, I want to know how does it work with like, equipment? Is it the same thing you would use in shooting a documentary outdoor? Uh, that would be the same thing you would want to use in shooting a music video or an indoor location of the film? Is it the same thing or is it according to the event or production in question? How does it work concerning equipment? I think as regarding um, trying to compare these different mediums, I think first of all it has to do with what medium are you trying to exhibit your content? If you're doing a film, are you projected in cinema? If you're projecting in cinema, that means you need a 4K or 2K or a 5K camera, which is in the likes of, you know, uh, it depends. If you want to do a wedding film or a documentary, you, you also need to use a specific type of camera that wouldn't consume so much space. For instance, if you're doing documentary, that could take you between a week and a month. You, you have to use a device that consumes, that um, doesn't create so much data in terms of space. So if you want to do film, film has, you're going to need more in quality. Like I said, it depends on where you're projecting. Or it also depends on the demands of your clients. If I should want to speak from an executive producer's point of view, what do you want? Where do you want it to be exhibited? How do you want to, what do you want from, how is the quality like? Those are the questions that we ask. Then we know the best platforms or the, the best mediums to produce your film with. But trust me, as far as film is concerned, I think it's, the, the, the better your quality, the better your equipment, the better your crew, the better your movie comes out. All right. Now, speaking of, you know, you, you mentioned when we're talking about 2019 and the projections, you mentioned yeah. that you're looking to work on more brands and more productions this year. What's the first thing that stands out for you in a production that makes you know, I want to work with this client or I want to be on this production? I usually look at the direction at which the client is going. Or I, I also, you know, pay attention to the details of the project. Is this project really viable? I mean, is it going to change life? Is it going to be entertaining? Is it going to add value to the client and also to our brand? Those are the things we look out for. So in terms of film, I also look at stories. I've actually not, you know, directed a film as a director before. I've produced a few projects, but I haven't really directed a, a, a 120 minutes length, feature length of a film. And, um, it's looking like it's going to be a surprise in 2019, like I said. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a surprise. But um, like I said, it's story. For me, it's story. Your story is, is good enough. It's going to open eyes. I mean, what's the value of the story? How is it going to be? Those are the questions I usually ask. And those are the things, those are the elements that makes a good story or a good production or a good film. So a young person comes up to you and says, Aniete, I'd like to go into film and video production. What would you say to him or her? Regardless, I, I, I'll take away the age limits. A person comes to you because some people could decide that at an older age, they want to yeah. pursue their dream in film and video production. True. So anybody walks up to you and tells you, I want to go into film and video production. What would you say to the person? It's going to very, uh, I think at first it starts with your interest. Do you, why do you want to go into film? It's my passion. I've always wanted to do it, but because I felt there was no money, I decided to pursue a bank job or a job in an oil company. Hmm. You would think of making money or it was about, oh, you said passion. Yes, it's my passion. I so all the that. while I've spent my life pursuing money, now mm. I want to face my passion. All right, go head on, research, keep shooting stuff with your phone, anything you have to shoot stuff, everything. I think it's about telling your story. It does not matter because people usually feel like the entry level into filmmaking is big. You don't need to, if you can't afford to go to a school, you, like I said, there's so much content out there online. All right. You can always get something online or you can just tag along with, I mean, invite, you know, know people that have, you have younger filmmakers that go out to shoot stuff. Try and know what you up so I can help you carry your tripod. 
I can help you find vocations. This always has to be, aside from interest and passion, this always has to be something you're good at as far as filmmaking is concerned or visual art is concerned. You have to be useful somewhere. You have to know what do I, okay, you want to be a filmmaker, what do you want to do? Do you want to be a director, a writer? Do you want to be a production designer, a makeup artist? What exactly do you want to do? And the, your point of interest is going to do, have a lot to do with where you're heading or how much, what are the possibilities of you actually doing it? Because you can't just be a filmmaker and you don't know where, where you want to function. On it. Yeah. Okay, so do you have any upcoming projects that we should look out for? Yeah, I just finished a music video. I haven't done so much music video in 2018, but I just finished a project with Kiss Daniel. We had to Ooh. come back to working together. Which song? Um, I'm not going to mention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just be on the lookout because Daniel's video is one of Kiss Daniel's yeah, videos. Yeah, I have shot a bank. Yeah, by it's, James Anieta. It's a big one. Really? Yeah. It's going to be one of my best music videos of 2019. Okay, for 20. Is it 2019? It's you still have a long way to go. <laughs> you still have a long way to go. But thank you so much, James Aniete. Thank, thank you for you joining us. You're We've been speaking with James Aniete, the creative director of Ajayo Film. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.